Hello everyone, this is Indra working as assistant professor in department of nutrition and dietetics. Today we are going to discuss about the subject quantity food service and physical facilities. So first of all we have to know what is meant with quantity food service. It is a food service or catering industry defines those business institution and companies responsible for a meal prepared outside the home. This includes restaurants, schools, hospitals, cafeterias, catering operations and others. The company that supplies food operators are called food service distributors and they sell goods like small wares and foods. The companies manufacture product in both consumer and food service version. The consumer versions usually come in individual sized package with elaborated label designed for retail sale. The food service version is packed in a much larger industrial size and often lacks the colorful label design of the consumer version. To fully understand the concept and evaluation of food related development, it is important to note that the trend is defined as style currently popular. It is not just the aesthetic inspired trend of boutiquing, eating establishment to make consumers comfortable but also the trend of cooking knowledge to the to general public overall. Conceived from this idea, it is the trend of creating a suitable environment for all dinners with the addition of customized din dining options. So classification of food service according to the functions. So first of all, types of catering service. Catering service are broadly categorized as social and economical significance. So under this public health facility oriented, welfare and non-commercial service and finally profit oriented or commercial service. So what is mean by profit oriented or commercial service? So commercial or profit oriented means cafeteria, coffee shop, kiss shop, meals on wheels, airport long, family restaurants, fast food outlets, food court, theme restaurants. So all these types of services are mainly uh, set up for the profit oriented service. Then public health facility oriented welfare or otherwise known as non-commercial service. These are set up in the uh, community for the welfare of public. So under this welfare catering, industrial catering and institutional catering. And the second one is processing method. There are many types of processing method. The first one is conventional food service system. Food that is prepared in a kitchen on a premises where the food is to be served. Following food preparation, production, food is held hot or soft and served as, a, as soon as possible. The food may be distributed for service directly to an adjacent service area that is cafeterias, restaurants, dining halls of the hostels. Alternatively, it may be carried on trays. Example, the food uh, served in uh, hospitals for the patients. This system is more adaptable to individual preference also. Seasonal ingredients can be used and together in great flexibility in menu planning. Also, distributors cost are minimal in this conventional food service system. The second one is commissionary food service system. In this system, the food is prepared centrally at one place and that distribution should be taken in the other place. Hence, food distributor is necessary to ensure the food is supplied for the various outlets. For example, Coffee Day, Brastia, these are the chains of outlets where, uh, where the food is prepared in one side and, uh, and delivered to the another side. But the basic food items like ice creams, milks, cookies, etc. are sup uh, supplied from a centralized kitchen. When a customer orders a milkshake, it is prepared as per the flavors and other ingredients, toppings, etc. are added as per the individual wish. The advantages are that are all ingredients can be purchased in bulk and there is no need for separate equipment and personnel to cook the food in each unit. Uniformity of quality of products for all units can be ensured and it, it is a cost effective service system. The third one is ready prepared food service system which are which are which we nowadays used as a uh, ready uh, The third one is a ready prepared food service system. Uh, these are the food which are prepared in advance before the time of service and they are kept in a frozen state. Whenever necessary, the frozen foods are to be uh, pre-cooked pre or preheated 
uh, at the time of ordering example like paratha samosa cutlet french fries these are the foods which are already frozen in the uh, refrigerator for later use mafco and godrej are the examples of industries that have developed and marketing these type of products one important as aspect in this kind of operation is the need for special equipments that is the uh, the uh, well defined or well uh, quality freezer is required for the food that is to be stored extreme care must be taken in handling uh, food pro food and special procedures to be followed to prevent contamination and spoilage thank you